uh, Eric Holzer. I didn't have the money at the time for that rally man vest you made a little while back. Any chance you'd run something like that ever again, or was that a once in a lifetime opportunity? So that's probably what we would do, right? We would do limited edition, low number stuff like that. Uh, the answer is I am building the rally man vest. I am lagging on the rally man vest. I have all the pockets built. I've got the panels. I need to just build the shoulders in the back and I haven't delivered a single one of those. So I owe, mm -hmm. I think 13 people those rigs we we turned it off i put it on for one night never thought we would sell fucking 13 of them and, uh, we fucking... that, that that was the story when we did a mystery order oh yeah so we were supposed to set it at 30 uh -huh. and we didn't and the next morning it was like 500 uh -huh. and so he's, we... he's like what in the fuck are we gonna do with this <laughs> so scully good... was like because we have a bunch of like seconds right uh-huh and I have, that's all that most, like 50% of the shit in my work bay yeah. is seconds. I put it there because nobody will take it yeah. and it can't go to a consumer. And and they're fully functional. We could send them to a consumer and he would never go, what the fuck? But if he bought three and he got two of the one and then one of the seconds, they're not, there's just something askew about them. That's what we were talking about owning your stuff though too. Like yeah. your name goes out with every product and you want it to be perfect. Yes. Right. And that's yeah. the conversation. I've been noticing that a lot, right? I'll, I'll build something new, show it to Cody. He's like, this is fucking rad. But my signature line on all those conversations is we can do better. Mm -hmm. I think we can do better. So we did the first thing, Jeff and I were, were joking. He's like, Man, you ought to just do a mystery box, put them in a mystery box, and just sell the box, and you get whatever. So we were joking about it, and at like four o'clock, we were going to eat at five. We went to like Mia Miles. Those are nice. We went to like Mia Miles or somewhere, um, and I authored it up, and I, I made a thing on the website, and it says mystery box. We're gonna send you whatever the fuck we want to send you, whenever the fuck we get around to sending it. And it's a hundred bucks, or I think it was a hundred dollars. It was a hundred bucks, yeah. So a hundred bucks, and we went out, had drinks, had shrimp and crab legs and shrimp, um, got back, slept in a little bit on Saturday, and we were driving to Nashville. We hit the four-way stop, and you go, how many of those things did we sell? I go, well, it doesn't, I go, we couldn't have sold more than 30, because I only put 30 in the inventory. Well, what I <laughs> forgot to do was click the- Apply. Uh, I, no, I put 30 in inventory, but the inventory ran down and was negative 500 and something um, <laughs> because I didn't click stop selling when, when sold, sold out. out. Yeah. So over, it, no, it was only 300 because we did $35,000. So it was 30, there's 350 orders on the first one. Um, and we built them up, shipped them out. And the next time we did it, it was um, 650. It was um, $65,000. So we had sold 650 of them. Um, I think that's a really good idea. Like, I mean, um, Amanda and I just last time I was here, she showed me a company. What, what it's a is it called? Assholes live forever, or yes. is it Linda? So they were doing a mystery order, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna buy it just to see what's in it." It was like five bucks. Yeah, and a hundred dollars, like it's not not everybody can spend a hundred dollars, but most people can, and they can do it out of curiosity like that. Like, let me see what this is gonna mm -hmm. be. You know, they have a very niche market yeah it's typically younger party kids and stuff um they're in vegas now right i think so. they yeah. relocated to vegas because of all the bullshit in california yeah he had some he was partners with some chick that was a porn star so she had a lot of fucking draw he had a lot of draw he was kind of like a a party planner right for he was a these, dj these, yeah. these big hollywood you know all yeah. the all the chicks drinking milk out of each other's assholes and stuff <laughs> that was them yeah that's weird so they have a clothing company. They bring in massive amounts of merchandise from offshore. Mm -hmm. They have big fucking pallet racking. They sell, so there's an immediate hype. They get some, they literally use porn stars and take photos with these girls. Um, and it's all cocaine and, you know, crazy weed. shit. Yeah. Cocaine and weed. And <laughs> so it's a, it's, it's a different demographic for sure. So they sell it to them while there's hype. Anything that's not hype, they take the rest of it and put it in fucking boxes. And they mystery box it, right? Because they're going to lose on it. They're going to. They've already paid for the merchandise. And when you're ordering that much, it's yeah. You can you can afford to put it in. Yeah, a most of it's Alibaba. It's not cut and sew. It's already fucking pre-done. Mm -hmm. They might be heat pressing there. I mean, the quality's not fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Like that tie-dye shirt, that tie-dye hoodie is fucking yeah. hideous. It, it doesn't fit her. <laughs> 
Well, I well, bought it. Big, I bought right? it big because I'm gonna cut up the bottom off of it. You could put three motherfucker. I, I, me and Austin <laughs> could get in that fucking thing. It's enormous. But uh, from from a shirt making perspective, it's it's a one color, two two or yep. three line mm-hmm. vinyl transfer, or yep. they might be using something else. Yep. But it's a very simple thing to do. Yeah, and ninety five percent of what they print has the same thing. Yeah, yeah. That's it's what assholes it's live forever. Thing. Yeah. Or let me let me put cocaine in your asshole. Mm-hmm. Like they, that's their whole fucking thing. And I'd yeah. say stick, but it's not a stick. That's literally them. Yeah, they sell. Uh, like coke straws and mm-hmm. stuff like that like little vials. they did a whole cocaine set yeah <laughs> and and my suspicion because they're like the government said we couldn't sell these horse shit yeah you guys fucked them up or they didn't sell and now you've created a story so uh-huh. you're giving one away free as an upsell for your other smart yeah. smart marketing but that's that's the deal that's mm-hmm. what that is but um, i mean for you guys a hundred bucks you know it's a I so think it's good. we owe a mystery order right now mm-hmm. i have 450 650 shirts sitting in boxes that's where we fuck ourselves Mm -hmm. so anytime we put a product out or we do a promotion and this is the free thing you get we do 200 sales but if i let you pick your color Mm -hmm. we do 650 to a thousand sales and that's what always fucks us up you see our capacity yeah like right now 75% 75% of my she- machines in there have multicam black with orange handled tool bag lights because we just fucking did 500 sales and everyone needs that free thing. Mm-hmm. To get that free thing, they all spent $65 minimum plus shipping, mm-hmm. plus they paid shipping. So most of them didn't spend $65 though. Most of them spent 100 to $300. Yeah, exactly. So it definitely, it's it spurs it, it spikes it, but we spend half the week making the free shit. <laughs> so the mystery order, if you go back in the box room, mm-hmm. there's huge cardboard boxes. Those are full of all those people's shirts in their sizes that they requested. I know what we're building. Mm-hmm. We just have to build the thing. If we, we just have to lock down for a week and just do that. Yeah, that's because funny. once that's cleared, we can do the next mystery order. And as soon as we put another mystery order out, it's always huge. Fun. It's huge. Yeah. And and we've made it to the point where we make one thing and then we put a t-shirt in it that we don't make. We put some other thing in it that we don't make. So the value's always there. We yeah. put co-branded things in there. Mm-hmm. But there are always cool things that people want that you're never going to be able to buy. And and that's one of the things I was going to say is whatever product we put in there, it's always something that's new that you've never seen before and you're never going to see again. It, we're never going to come to market with this thing. Mm-hmm. It's only for that special mystery box. That's... So it's super duper limited. Yeah. It's a good idea, but since because it's super duper limited, you have to only make that for a week. Yeah. So that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've had, we've had three people come back to work that had left work mm-hmm. years ago. I've got a girl right now that's wanting to come back to work who moved to Texas, Cindy's back here, who moved to Texas, and now she's back, and she's like one of our fucking all-stars. And then this girl here, I don't know what she's going to be, what kind of, like, it's a werewolf, you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, she says she's got her shit together. I mean, she said the right thing, so yeah. maybe we bring her in, because 10% of your people do 80% of the work. That's really how that shit works. So hopefully she's on the right side of the tracks <laughs> instead of the la- other side of the tracks. I wanted, so he asked about the vest. Is this a new vest? Because I know you had one from years ago. You're in the clothes group? Yeah. Did you see Nora Hinko from Japan posted that vest yesterday? No, I didn't LB- see it So yesterday. it's an LBV. It's a load-bearing vest. Uh-huh. And what it is, is it's two mag pouches. It's either CQB or Rally Man or Patrol mag pouches. So... With our vest, what you have is left panel, right panel, shoulder panel, back panel. Mm -hmm. It'll adjust up and down 12 inches. It'll adjust out 36. It's got 12 inches of adjustment in the front and 12 on each side in the back. So no matter how big you are, Mm -hmm. it'll fit Cody, it'll fit you. Mm -hmm. And then it adjusts up and down. So you can wear it over cold weather gear. You can wear it over mop gear. You can wear it over a wetsuit, dry suit, anything. It'll work. Or in your Speedo. Or or just (laughs) fucking flat, right? Uh So... Um, the CQB vest has two mags per pocket, so eight mags, and the CQB vest pockets will hold two M4 mags, three MP5 mags, a pair of clamped MP5 mags, 16 rounds of buckshot on a pull-out tray, or a smoke grenade, or radio. 
and then it has pistol mags inboard outboard so you've got four pistol mags you can do pistol mags multi-tool surefire light 550 cord monocular in those and then those vests have six belt loops and those belt loops lock to a belt so the way that is set up is when you have all the weight in this thing and you have it on a two inch duty belt or a tapered war belt you can let the weight off of your shoulders and traps and it'll bear the weight on your hips like a proper oh, backpack cool. does yeah and then you can also tighten it down so it's a little tighter should you want it. Mm -hmm. Now you have Velcro and Fastex. So you've got Fastex for noise, discipline, insertion, whatever you're doing, you need more security of the items. Once you're in area of operation, you can undo those buckles. You can take those tabs and they'll lock to the inside of the belt and now you're just ripping Velcro. Yeah. I don't like the Velcro, oh my God. Well, you just dump 30 rounds if, you know, if exactly. you're reloading. Yep. If you really don't like the Velcro, you can take opposing Velcro, silence it, and just run Fastex buckles. Yeah. That applies to any of those LBVs that we make. The difference between the models is just how many mags they carry. Yeah, so I knew that you had something similar from years ago, but I, and I, I guess I didn't see, I see his posts all the time. I just missed that one from So yesterday. he posted one in the group yesterday showing that it was, and I said, do you have that? And he said, no. And then he sent me a link through private message. There is a whole like Japanese eBay and it's all SOE shit. Really? Like, fucking thousands. Because that's where most of the shit, especially yeah. if it was a recon dude or a four sky or a seal. Yeah. They just eat that shit up over there. I've been like every, maybe like every month or two, I'll get on eBay and just search SOE. And there's, there's like one or two really cool items, but a lot of it is like combat cocks and stuff that like anybody can get. It's all the, the free, it's the free shit. shit. Yeah, exactly. So like when we close the deal, so to be an SOE dealer in the United States, your opening order had to be two grand mm -hmm. and to be a dealer out of the, out of the country, it was $5,000 and you had a 30% margin. That's, that's the most margin we've ever done on anything. Yeah. When we closed the dealer down, when we closed them down, um, because we can sell everything we make direct to consumer and now we own our customers we don't rely on other people so if you have some other company and they're just not promoting your shit and it's not the hot thing anymore yeah they clearance it and put it on sale it fucks up your like like map pricing right mm -hmm. so we have access to everybody who has our shit mm -hmm. like when you have some we had a dude just had a tool bag and there's something weird with the zipper and I went, I, I had his name, and I went through all his orders, and he didn't order this fucking thing. And I'm like, what's your order number on the bag? And now he posts, he's like, well, I ordered it secondhand. Yeah, that's why you have a fucking problem with the bag. That's why the guy sold it. There's not a fix for it. Yeah. He, so he's sending it back. We're going to have to open it up, cut it apart. He could literally buy a bag for the, the cost of us fucking repairing this bag. Mm -hmm. He could almost, for 30, 40 bucks more, he could buy a brand new bag. Um, but we know the history on everything. Yeah. We, we know where it went. We know all about it. Um, and we have access to those guys. Like, depending what you're asking, when you're asking something, the answer is almost always no. But I'll put in one of your invoice numbers and then look at your history. And if it's a dude with fucking, you know, 200 orders mm -hmm. or a $50,000 customer, you know, we're apt to do things that we wouldn't do for a guy that's got... Like I have six emails from a dude. Every one of them's kind of shitty or complaining yeah. in some manner. And you look, and he's he's got two orders. But your big customers, they don't ever ask for shit. They never. Yeah. There is never a problem that way. It's it's just weird how that works. Um, dude hit me up yesterday. It, it's they got to be talking about medical backpacks somewhere. Of course, because <laughs> this dude hits me up and he lists himself. His closing line was head it Caesars properties or whatever. Yeah. And he's like. Dude, what's up with your website? It's all fucked up. None of your links work. Um, it won't take my credit card processing. Your drop down menu shows all kinds of options, but the only one I can put in is red black. Um, and that I see prices between 300 and 350, so which is it? You should get your website guy to fix this. And he likes a, like a bunch of other words. Yeah. So shitty. And I'm like, you should totally get with Shopify and tell them to fix their <laughs> shit. I go, um, I posted on my page, hey, I posted your email and said, hey, can anybody duplicate the problems this guy's having? You got to go write a check. This material here? She said that there's a truck guy here that needs a check. Good. So um, nobody could duplicate the problem. It, it, it wasn't there. So it's a it's a you problem, right? Yeah. So I'm like, it can only you can only put this in in red and black because it's all we have. We built 24 of them on Friday. There's three still sitting here, and 
I don't care if you buy it. Like, yeah. I, I don't even remember. I didn't tell him that. No, I and then so. I, another email comes through, and it's the same fucking shit, but through private message. Not mm-hmm. the same guy, though. And I'm like, look, we it show, you're seeing different prices because it shows you the lowest price, and that's what the, the lowest price bag was. These are not that bag. There, it's a different color combo, mm-hmm. and the, the reality is, it's like the black bag. I think was three hundred because that was from years ago, and we haven't made them. So as we put in new inventory, we correct and update price, the pricing. Yeah. So, but it's still showing that. I didn't even know it was showing that. I didn't know you could see it because I couldn't see it on the website. So he's like, "Well, I would recommend." So I'm like, "All we have is red, black. We built twenty four. There's three left." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Well, I would recommend making your website so it says sold out." <laughs> well, it, it's, it's, it's fucking, it's grayed out. It's grayed out. Yeah. Like there's a fucking line through it. And I go, um, we're probably not the company from you. He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I just didn't reply. And then another guy, a uh, police officer in California is like, Hey, we need your W9 forms for taxes. It'll be a lot easier to, to buy these from you. We want to buy these. I go, look, let me just tell you right up front. We're not taking a purchase order. Mm-hmm. You want them. I can send you a, a clickable payable link right through QuickBooks or PayPal or however we want to do it, and you can pay with a credit card or a debit card. And he's like, I don't know if they'll do that. I go, look, man, we built 24. There's three here. They're going to be gone. Like every stitch, this is how it's been for 35 years. I get it, but we do not, we're not taking purchase orders. We don't. I don't have to. We don't need to. I don't need to wait for some money, and there's a ton of motherfuckers right now not getting fucking paid municipal fucking purchase orders. If you know you're going to pay it, just fucking pay me today. Yeah. That, that's how we're doing it. And he's like, I understand, man. I, I'm aware of the quality of the product. I will see what I can do to make this happen. Mm-hmm. With the website thing, too, it, I don't. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but they're always out there where you can where you can click options. It'll always say from like a very small number before you click on it to choose your options. And what it's, it's a trick that a lot of people do, where like if the thing is three hundred bucks but you can add something to it for 50 then the the website says oh it's from 50 dollars because there's a listing god so it upsells yeah yeah but then by the time you get what you yeah. want it's 300 and that way if you go by like cheapest thing that still pops up yeah. you know but so, you're not doing that it just like i don't know why he doesn't understand that that happens i, I don't know, what you know? Tell you. so there's this company called kubaki strength i think right they make they make bars mm-hmm. they make different types of bars for weightlifting best shit in the world right they're all through dubai they're all over the place dudes with money buy these things and the bar i want 750 bucks and i went on their website and clicked every single link they have on their website and you can't buy a single fucking thing it says coming soon sold out Uh look for updated inventory i'm not going to email them and go what the fuck guys why don't you have some shit for sale their shit is so good that it's all sold out. Yeah. I'm well aware of the company. Mm-hmm. But if I'm shitty to them, is that going to be advantageous to me in any fucking way at all? It's not. Yeah. It's not. If I was going to send an email like, hey, can I can I pay you an extra 20%? Or like I would yeah. reach out to them through social, like just interact with them. Mm-hmm. Like if you want somebody's attention, fucking be of benefit. You want my attention? Get on my live feeds at night and answer people's question and be beneficial. Mm-hmm. Like you, you'll get a lot further when you ask me for something. Yeah, help of, somebody else. A lot of people, for some reason, still think that just because they might buy something, it's their right to talk shit. It's because, know? well, I, I mean, if you look at these guys, they're gonna be video game guys. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> like, they think their life is rad because they have no idea what a fucking good life looks like. They have uh-huh. no fucking clue of what it is they do. Like what's available to you? They're just they haven't shot high enough. I always have this thing. So there's some there's some people that used to be in my life that would always talk about how I hate the Kardashians. They they don't they don't do anything. They're do you just... think the Kardashians know who they are? No, but this is what right, I said. I know. What I said was, you ever watch the Kardashians and see them sitting there watching TV? You are. You're sitting there right, watching. Right. That's them. my point. Yeah, exactly. You know all of these people, but uh-huh. they don't have a fucking clue you exist. Uh huh. And they're out doing shit. You're sitting there watching them do shit. Yes. It doesn't matter if you like well them or not. Well marketed. Yes. yes. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's all the questions for uh, this week from the Thunderdome group. And uh, we had fun with these. We'll pick a few winners out of here and send you guys some stuff. 
Thanks for participating, and we will see you next week. Yeah, man, I'm talking about realists, one of the realists to try. My family, SOE, got the tools to survive.